Hi and welcome back to Toby's Real Skills with Toby. It's me. In today's video, finally, I wanted to talk about building my own battery out of four lithium ion phosphate cells. You heard right. That was the initial plan. And I was working hard on getting some cells on. And I thought, yeah, rather than buying, maybe I can somehow review them, work with someone, cooperate with someone who's actually manufacturing them and selling them. And it turns out it worked out somehow, so really cool. But <laughs> I want to talk about, not about how to build the battery, a 12 volt battery out of four cells, four individual cells with a BMS on top. I don't want to talk about that, sadly. The reason why I'm making this video this time is because I got those cells, I was able to work with them, and uh, in this case I only paid shipping and somehow, you know, we were going back and forth, was a manufacturer out of uh, China, and I was so happy that they said, yes, we'll provide you with some batteries, mm -hmm. but, so there was a but, yes, but we'll send you the used ones which they sell. And I thought, okay, whatever that means, so I try to understand, are they in good shape, what kind of cells are you talking about, and stuff like that, so I got four cells. 176 amp hours each cell something like this one here right and i got four of them and i was super happy and i thought awesome that will be an amazing project so i can make an instructional video i can try to educate myself and at the same time when i learn you might be able to learn as well or you will correct what i'm doing wrong mm. but it's not that far yet so i got four cells i was super excited as soon as they arrived on the doorstep i i ripped the package open of course the disappointment was so big. The purpose of this video is, should you really buy used cells? So let me, let me try to tell you what used means. When you go on Amazon and you see, hey, I see some cells, 3.2 volt cells, lithium ion phosphate. There are new ones, obviously, 176 amp hours, awesome. And there's always this little, you know, on the side, um, used, new and used. Um, and I thought, okay, whatever that means. My short answer, no, don't buy the used cells. And here's why. This cell, which I unpacked, this one is pretty good. Three out of four cells in one package had issues. And I'll show you what I mean with issues. Those are the cells, the four I received in the shipment. And from looking down, you would say, okay, maybe three out of four, oh, okay. So since you buy a package of four, it's not okay because one is not working, so you don't have a 12 volt battery. Um, if it's not working, maybe it's working, who knows. But look at the condition, just the condition. And when you look at this cell here, you see the terminals are completely worn off. You see it's damaged. It looks like it had some fire issue. The QR code is not readable. Not speaking about the vent here. And it's just all over damaged. And on top, of course, this one doesn't look good. On top, you see that this one is already having some bulging. So here you see this big gap, I'm pushing them against this one, which is also bulging, by the way. But you can also feel it that this one has a lot of bulging. So this one is a cell to throw away immediately. Don't even look at it, because if this is happening to a terminal, you don't want to mess with that. Looking at the next one, also terminal damage up here, which is not good. On top, this one also has some bulging going on. Not as bad as this one, probably. Let me move this a little bit to the side here, it's less. There's still, you know, it feels on one side it's bulged, not, not completely, but you can see here this gap as well. So, okay, let maybe something to work with. Still, there's, I don't know, some stuff going up here. Not, not good, really not good. So then we have those two cells on this side. I'm moving this in the middle a little bit. Those two cells actually look and feel at least that they're not bulging. Okay, cool, the terminals look at least for this one, in decent shape. This one, semi-okay, there's also something happened up here, so not sure if you want to mess with those three cells. Regardless, even if you're super adventurous and you want to mess with those three, you only have three. Okay, you could find another one. Talk to the seller, hey, send me a functional one, okay? If that happens, still, you need working cells. So, the next step was, I, had, I wanted to see, okay, now I have those cells, is it, is it somehow safe to work with them? And honestly, in my opinion, no, it's not. Regardless, I want to show you what you get when you, you know, just pay for shipping and think, cool, this is a great deal. Well, apparently not. Let me see if there's some voltage at least so we can see, are they at all functional? So here we have the first cell. We see, oh cool, it has some 
256. I would say this one is probably the, the cell which looks the best from the terminals, but also from the side. Move on to the next one. Let me find a better point. Nope. Try to get into this. Nothing. Really, nothing. All right, whatever that means, right? Let's move on to the third one. And there's a 3.216 reading. All right, okay, okay. So let me get it straight. This one in the middle has no reading. So I'll push this over, I'll push this over to this side. And let's try to read the last one here, even though I will not use it at all. can see it, yeah. Nothing. Well, proves the point not to use it, but those two cells doesn't have any voltage, nothing. There should be even a, a decent little voltage. Um, even if it's empty, there would be some voltage. Um, that just means there's something wrong, right? Leave some comments um, what it actually means, because I'm, I'm not a super expert, but I would say I cannot use those two cells. Regardless of, would I use this cell? I'd, I'm not tempting to, so no worries. That's a sad story, so let's move on. I said three out of four didn't work, right? Well, there is some voltage on two out of four, but I'm not, I would not use the third one because it doesn't look too good on the terminal and it's already color changed. So maybe you have different feelings about it. Maybe you like it like that. I don't, I don't. Just, uh, I don't like the risk on this part too much. So the idea to build a battery, the 12 volt battery out of four cells, um, well, maybe I could build a six volt battery and do some testing with that, but it's hard to find. Anyways, no. So I contacted the seller because it was kind of a cooperation and we, I really wanted to show, you know, and talk about this brand a little bit and see if we get some quality cells. Contacted the seller, I got four more cells. And I thought, awesome, that will solve the problem. Hopefully they will now check what they send out. Hopefully they will also maybe just send new cells. That would be amazing, of course, but I, I, didn't, I didn't bet on it. So what happened? I received four more cells. Second batch of cells. Let me push them together. Oh, sorry, it doesn't work. So the second batch and I received them like this. I mean, they were wrapped. They were okay wrapped, uh, at least in some ESD foil in Styrofoam and cardboard box individually, of course. That was good, but they were they were sent like this. So you will notice there are the studs still screwed in. Yeah, that messed up the package inside a little bit. Anyhow, so looking at those cells, starting again from this side, and this one, and this one, those two actually are the the ones with bulge the most. And I don't think it's safe to operate them at all, regardless if they have voltage or not. So the terminals look good on those three cells actually, but this one is, I, I don't know, do, do I need to zoom in? Those three look good from top. Those two are bulged. Moving them over a little bit, just to focus on those two. Those terminals, they, I mean, if it would be just clue, okay, but it's like, it's warping here and it's plague, it's, it's not good. It's, nope, no chance. And this one is actually, the only one cell which was feeling kind of okay. Well, one out of four, you know. So let's see where we're at with, uh, if we can use the cell, right? So it would be amazing. Righty, what are we having? Is there any reading? Okay, there's nothing going on anymore. Leave some comments below. This one, is it possible that this one is entirely depleted and there's no voltage on it anymore? So this one is a tiny little bit of six mini volts? Is that possible? Of six, um, it, what? Still, okay, let's move on. Let's, let's, oh God, look at this. I don't even know how to touch this, but, whoa, this one, this one actually has 3.3 .3 volts. Wow, decreasing, 3.34, okay. It has something going on there. To the third one. Oh, 12 mini volt. Yep, last one. Six 
7 minivolt. Okay. Out of this package. I'm not using those ones. I'm not using this one. I, mean, I could use this one maybe. If it has some reading, you know. It has a QR code. The vent looks good. Terminals look okay. Side was okay. So, out of two shipments, eight cells, I have maybe or maybe not three functional ones out of used cells. So, that's what it is. I said already, I'm not an expert in this. I, you know, watch a lot of, a lot of YouTube videos and try to understand how you build a 12 volt battery out of four cells and stuff like that. And I think I was at a point, I'm still at a point uh, to build my own battery and I will do that for sure in a very near future, but not with those cells. Um, let me also say, very dangerous to work with used cells. You have no idea what happened to those cells and you have no idea how easily it is to start a fire. I'm not talking about a brand, no worries. So here it is, with any brand, this can happen regardless of the brand. The brand can be awesome, but when you have some returns, you get the cells back and you sell them to other people, you have no idea what happened, how long they had it and stuff like that. You have absolutely a zero idea. You do not know how much they messed up or did with them or not. So they might be pre-damaged from the usage and then you buy it as a used cell. So in my opinion, you will not be happy. Regardless, and we did not even do any testing with them, I did not charge them because I'm, I'm really afraid of what I saw here. Um, let me also know in the comments, um, am I super cautious? Am I stupid? Do I need to learn way more? Let me know because you guys might know it better than I do. My plan is still the same. I will get four cells to build a 12 volt battery. The next one will be 24 volts. Anyways, but this is all for this video. I wanted to just share my opinion on used cells in general, not about one specific brand. And disclaimer, I'm not an expert as mentioned a couple times already, but I love to explore new areas, especially with those batteries. And that's amazing. And more battery stuff coming soon. So if you like that stuff, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos, let me know what I can do better, especially since, you know, those cells are garbage. And by the way, I will recycle them properly. So we'll bring them somewhere later. I do not want to keep them, that's just, also too dangerous to store them even I feel like. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Tschüss.